Hi everyone, welcome to Minecraft Daily. I'm JC and today is Saturday the 27th of August 2011. The intro you just saw was by Crisis LTU2 and it's the first entry in my contest to find a new intro for this show. If you're interested in entering as well, I'll put up a link right here to the video that explains all the information. So, today, all I'm going to talk about is 1.8. First thing to mention, I think, is that there is no official release date for 1.8. It might be next week, but there's still no promises. Not streamed a lot of it yesterday at PAX. You can go and re-watch those videos on his streaming channel. I'll put up the link in the description. If you go to that link and then you click more videos, you can watch them again. It's not actually finished yet, so it's definitely not coming out as soon as PAX is over. They still need to add NPCs into the towns and the experience orbs can be collected and you level up but it has no effect at the moment. You can't spend those levels or experience on any particular skills. I noticed actually in the live streams they've started saying that maybe they might release 1.8 without everything they've promised and then finish off the rest of it and release that as well. So we might be looking at getting a 1.8, especially maybe next week with a new lighting system and a lot of the stuff I'm about to talk about that's already there, but maybe not with the villages that aren't quite finished and maybe not with the experience system that isn't quite finished. So onto the stuff that is finished. First thing I want to mention is that zombies now drop rotten flesh instead of feathers, but not entirely clear what rotten flesh is any good for obviously the only obvious answer is you might be able to cook it and eat it which is really really gross considering they're zombies in terms of things that are more like fixes rather than new features apparently clouds work properly now the new lighting system looks incredible it basically works by changing the texture of blocks so that it doesn't require to update chunks when it changes to night time or whatever. So basically there's virtually no lag when lighting changes. Notch demonstrated this in the live feed by just fast forwarding time, day, night, day, night, day, night, and there is just no lag. Also, the lighting looks amazing because there's now two different types of lighting, orangey firelight or tungsten light, and also natural daylight. Every texture has different combinations of those two lights so that the effect in the game is that torches in a cave the light will be orange but then if there's a hole in the ceiling or something with daylight coming in that light will look blue in comparison like real daylight and it just looks really really nice so that's actually the thing I'm actually the most excited about so on to proper new features now there's going to be a creative mode it's a bit like an official version of Too Many Items and Fly Mods. So you can fly around a bit and you can use select any blocks you like and build whatever you want. What's interesting about that mode is it's also going to be available in multiplayer where admins will be able to turn that mode on. So rather than having specialised mods installed, that's now going to be part of the main game. Obviously Endermen is the big other thing. They pick up blocks, they apparently place the blocks down in random places. Endermen die when they touch water, which is an interesting concept. Also apparently I've just read that they drop diamonds. I haven't actually seen that myself, but apparently that's what they drop at the moment. Also Silverfish, which people have always wondered about because the texture and information for them is in the game. They are going to now appear in 1.8. The other big things geographically on top of NPC villages, obviously rivers and new biome code, which makes the world a lot more interesting to look at. There's also going to be underground, big underground ravines. And there's also these big randomly generated dungeons called strongholds as well, which look really interesting. Pretty cool because it's like, even in single player, it's like you've walked into somebody else's mine and there was a minecart track and stuff, so that looks like a lot of fun. And to go with those, there's a bunch of new different brick types and some iron bars and things, as well as stair blocks to match. 
Oh, and cobwebs will also be added into the official game as well now. So also on biomes, there's the mushroom biomes and there's deeper oceans. And the deep oceans are going to be biomes in their own right. So there's really big oceans now. There's also going to be critical hits and bows pull back. So you can like pull back in three stages when you hold your mouse down. So you can, you have three different strengths of shot to choose from. Apparently there's also melons, but we haven't seen any yet. Oh, and then on the subject of food, there's also, you can also now get meat from chickens and cows. There's going to be a food bar next to your health bar. So when you eat food, it isn't going to heal hearts straight away anymore. What it's going to do is it's going to fill up your food bar. And when your food bar's full, you'll automatically heal hearts. It also takes a second or so to actually eat a piece of food. There's an eating animation. So you won't just be able to instantly heal during battle. Is the most important thing about all this. So that's going to make the game a bit more challenging depending on how you play. The last thing that I'm excited about is a multiplayer server list. That's going to be really, really helpful because I spend a lot of the time visiting different people's servers, especially viewers and other YouTubers. And I just have all these servers written down on this piece of paper that I always have to type in. With a new server list, it, you'll be able to save different servers on a list and just be able to click which server you want to go to so that's brilliant so yeah so obviously there's loads of other little things that I haven't talked about because it's just so much I can't cover it all today I'll put a link to a wiki page where they've listed it all as well as citations as to where that information's from so you can see if it's definite or not and everyone feel free to put comments and talk about what you're interested in in 1.8 because there's a lot to talk about. So that's all for today. So remember to like, favourite, all that business. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's very quick and easy to make a YouTube account if you don't have one. Also, remember to tell your friends. If you've got friends that are kind of casual players of Minecraft that don't spend a lot of time on forums and things and you think they might find this show useful, let them know. And as usual, if there's anything you think is interesting that's coming out soon that you think I should mention, let me know. And I'll see you tomorrow.